Hey guys, how's it going? It's Richard Punky here from the Puppenham Geek, and today, guys, we're unboxing the Razor Turret. Now, the Razor Turret, as you can see here, comes in this nice packaging, which you can see, sort of see what it does already. Uh, it allows you to, you know, wirelessly take your keyboard and mouse and play sort of laying back on your couch. Now, being the slight movement of a lot of PC gamers now moving to the living room, um, it's not a surprise that Razer's come out with something like this. So inside the box, we've got, what we've got is the keyboard and mouse. Nicely packaged, I may have to say myself. Uh, we've got you know a nice sort of um, small um, mouse here, which we'll take a closer look at soon. And then we've got the keyboard. Now, I actually thought at first glance this was LED, but it's not it's just green now what else you get is a couple of manuals and stickers which we always love a docking station and you also have a charger for that as well which I actually already have hooked up because since I've already opened this an extension cord which I'll touch later on and um, that's for the wireless mouse as you know it is Bluetooth or you can actually run this off a receiver so whatever you have if your computer supports Bluetooth you can do that or you can run off the receiver now you have this box in here which we'll take a closer look are you ready are you ready? Are you ready? What's inside this big box? It's it's a uh, uh, it's a USB. <laughs> it's an AC to USB charger uh, or adapter, and that's all it is. It's it's in this like massive box, and that's I, I swear they could have just like just chucked it in there and would have mattered, but they had to package it in this box. <laughs> Anyways, taking a closer look at the keyboard, um, your mouse sort of pad uh, folds out of the keyboard as you saw there. And it's actually a nice big surface I have to say. So it's enough to you know move around. I've been using it for a little while now and um, it definitely does work. Now the surface is sort of magnetic to the actual um, mouse itself. So taking a closer look you can sort of here has this texture to it. Now it doesn't actually, I find it actually not that it doesn't work that well you know on a mouse pad because it actually sort of has a bit of friction on there um but you know on the actual flat surface it works okay so as you can see there you've got a little toggle which you can use the 2.4 gigahertz or the bluetooth and it fits pretty much nicely in the palm of your hands now behind on the bottom of the keyboard you do actually have that similar sort of you know rubberized grip which means you know when sitting on your lap it's not going to be slipping around um you know because obviously you're going to be sort of laying back on the couch and the mouse pad just folds in like so. Um, you know, and it's actually quite solid, so you can just use the keyboard just by itself. Now, it's not, it's sort of, what sort of pees me off is just, it's just a little bit shorter, so it doesn't completely cover the keyboard, but it's enough. It's okay, it's okay. It's it's really heavy. I'd just say it does have a bit of weight to it as well. Not heavy enough that, it you know, it's a problem, but, you know, it nicely docks into the docking station as well. Uh, and you can charge it like so. As you can see here, it would look really nice. I have it actually placed right next to my TV uh, like so. Now, make sure to subscribe and like this video for the full review, which I'll be having soon, hopefully next week. I've been playing a few games. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.